Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a night routine at Durham University. So it's just coming up to six o'clock, it's a Friday night and it's a wild night obviously because it's Friday. Um, so what I'm doing is work for my job. Um, this week, I, my job is only four hours a week but this week I was given extra hours. So, and I'm not fit in very well so I'm currently doing that. And I'm hoping to finish in 10 minutes and then I'm gonna carry it on tomorrow to get in all my hours. But um, then I'm planning on going to the range and um, maybe getting a Chinese for tea because I've got no food in. So it's going to be an exciting night. <laughs> on it till 25 to 7 because I actually finished what I was doing which is very rare. I sensed that I was in the zone to finish it. Not finish, I still have to do two and three quarter hours tomorrow but the, what I was doing at the time I finished. Um, so I was like let's get this done um, and now I'm gonna head to the range. Hopefully it closes at 8 or later. That would be a dream. Fingers crossed. Um, and then I'm still set for a Chinese. I'm still feeling it so it should be a good night. I'm on my way now to the range and I actually rarely get to leave the house in my car because I don't know if you can see there's cars parked behind me. Those aren't parking spaces and I've seen them with tickets on them before but they still keep parking there and it's really annoying because it blocks me out. I don't think I can get out. I pay for this parking space and they block me in and I literally cannot get out. I can get out as long as there's nobody next to me. But if there's someone next to me, I literally cannot get out. I've scraped the car to get out because of that stupid little silver mini. It, I'm so done with it because they don't pay for a parking space. It's not a parking space. It's really frustrating when someone is paying for their space and they can't use it. But it doesn't matter because my mom's taking my car with me next week anyway. Anyway, hopefully we get Chinese. Hopefully we don't have to pay in cash. The thing about Durham though is um, no matter what time you go out driving, the roads are busy. Not necessarily busy, but you'll encounter other cars. And um, I don't like encountering other cars, funnily enough. Um, I hate them. I hate driving, so I hate other cars. I've been out driving at like 11pm and I've still queued. Now, I live in North Wales. <laughs> like, that's not a thing, unless you're on the A55, which I'm definitely not, then you don't encounter that kind of lifestyle, so yes, I'm a wuss, it's fine, <laughs> that's no problem, but I really hate that silver mini, if you own that silver mini, can you move it, please, I've seen it with a ticket on it, so why hasn't it learned it's flipping last them, I think it parks there 6pm, no, 8pm till 6am, or something like that, to avoid a ticket, just buy a parking space. I could only get out today because there's um there was no car next to me. But um, that's my Karen moment for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, um, <laughs> yes, I'm just heading now to the range. You know that, and it's gonna be a great time. And um, basically, for Valentine's Day last year, no, for Valentine's Day, Reese bought me this box of date cards, and um, I thought it would be fun to make a scrapbook of all the dates. Um, so the scrapbook is very out of date at the minute. I think I've done like three pages of it. Um, I think we've maybe done eight dates. So I need to update it and I ordered the photos for it. The photos arrived today. So I actually got loads of packages today, but I can't reveal them because most of them are Reese's Christmas present, but it's always exciting when you get a package. But yeah, my photos for the scrapbook arrived today. So I'm going to, that's what I'm getting glue for. I have like a craft box. I got really into crafts this year. So I have my craft box, but I've run out of glue. So, I will forever be in the wrong lane when I come around this roundabout. I'm 
gonna leave now because there's so many cards and I just can't take it. I've got the goods. I actually bought a bed table or something because I always eat food in my room and I always rest it on a cushion. But I thought, get a desk table. That's the problem. Never go into Little or Aldi because you come out with something weird. So I came out with that. And then I got all my bits and bobs from the range and I also got some tuna. So I'm gonna make a tuna pasta bake for my tea. I was gonna do a tuna mayo pasta, but I was like, we have tuna now, let's make tuna pasta bake. Um, it's a bit nicer. Do you know what? I think I might go back in and get something sweet. Because I know afterwards I'm going to want something sweet. Should I or shouldn't I? I've not eaten much today, so I feel like a little pudding never hurt anybody. I've actually sat in this car park for like 20 minutes. And I've still not gone home yet, but it's lucky I didn't because now I've changed my mind to go back in. Okay, so I actually, in the shop car park, rang my mum, so I chatted with my family for half an hour or so, um, and now I'm home, I'm going to make myself tuna pasta bake, hopefully going to have a watch party on Disney+, Plus. you can do like a watch party, I'm not 100% sure how to make them work, but because I'm logged in as Reese, we just both join as the same person, so it's easier. I'm not technical enough to know how to invite people, but we're, we're both in the same account, so it's easy. Um, hopefully I can do a watch party of, I'm thinking, the Muppets Christmas Carol with Reese. So, hopefully do that whilst I eat my tea, but gonna eat my tea first. Gonna make my tea first. And that's the plan. There's my pasta on my new tray. I'm now gonna set my room to have a bit of ambiance. So I have these two lights by my TV, I have this one, Oop. and then, oh, it broke, oh, I'll have to replace the bulb, we get the ambiance, we'll keep that, and then switch off the main light, Ooh. and then we'll put this light on here, oh no, we'll set a candle. So um, yes, I'm just sat here watching Christmas Carol, I've finished my tea now, and then we have Reese in the corner here. Any words? No, not really. Okay. We're gonna carry on watching now. So the film finished a while ago and then Reese went to bed because he's works. I work, but I work a nice job. He works not a nice job, so he was tired. And also I just stay up forever. So but I've just been chilling and then now I'm going to um brush my teeth and Put my pajamas on just like to review this from the middle aisle in little incredible best purchase i've ever made and it looks good it looks nice only 10 pound i scratched my face the other day just knocked it with my hand and i've had like a big red dot on my nose all week and it's finally gone thank god anyway yeah um so my plan now is to brush my teeth put my pajamas on i have not been sleeping at all this past week so i'm not going to try to go to bed too early it's 12 o'clock now, I've been falling asleep at like 5am and it's been very difficult so I'm not going to try to sleep till 1 and in the meantime I'm going to put on Made on Netflix, I'm going to watch that for an hour and then fingers crossed we can get to sleep by 2, that would be a dream but I doubt it, but we'll try, um, I'll see you in a bit. I don't do much in the way of skincare but I have this massive spot so I'm going to put some pseudocrome on that if I can find it. My hair's a mess but I'm washing it in the morning. Um, so, because I don't want to get that stiff neck if I go to bed with white hair. So I'm going to head back to the room, put on the tally, and let's have a cosy night. So like I've said, I've not really been sleeping that well, so this is my plan for tonight. I'm gonna watch Made on Netflix and then I'm gonna switch my phone off. Now, I don't really go on my phone that much anyway when I can't sleep. Like, I feel like someone can't complain about not sleeping if they're on their phone. But sometimes if I've been trying to sleep for like an hour or two hours, I still can't sleep, then I'm just gonna give up, go on my phone. One thing, I have like a really overactive brain, so if I'm like, trying to sleep and I think of an idea then I'm like I have to check that idea is gonna work like I have to google it I have to like say if I thought of an idea for a holiday or something I'd be like I have to look at it now which is not helpful it's not productive and um, then I feel like I can't do anything until I've checked it but what I'm gonna do is switch off my phone now I normally switch off my phone like 
after a long time of not being able to sleep and I'm going to switch it off now and if I can't sleep I've got a few ideas I'm going to do a jigsaw because that always makes me super tired and I'm also going to start on the scrapbooking but hopefully we won't have to do any of that hopefully we can just sleep myself here. I promise that's given the love that is driven the cross that I bear for you I cannot resist the fact that I love you so Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!